So we're gonna go to the hotel, and I think they're gonna have our suite ready for us. I don't think we can go swimming yet, but we can get pedicures and room service. Oh my God. How are my best girls? Daddy! Come here, my Jack, little angel. Oh, I haven't seen you in so long, you got so big. I was in Shanghai when I picked up your message. I got here as fast as I could. Yeah. Hey, I heard you weren't feeling well. She's doing much better, right, baby? I was very scared. Yeah, so was Daddy. Now, you should have heard Daddy yelling at the pilot, go faster, go faster. I was about to jump in the cockpit myself and start flying the plane. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at you. Let's have a look at you. You know what? You don't look sick because you look as beautiful as ever. And she was so good. She did exactly what the doctors told her to do. Wow, she's a brave girl, huh? Yeah, you're a brave girl. Daddy has a present for you. This is very, very special. Wow, that looks beautiful. It is a music box, okay? And every time you wind it up, when you open it, it plays a beautiful song. Plays our song, okay? And every time you open it, it'll remind you of how much Daddy loves you. And I'm so happy that you're a part of this world. Okay? There. Daddy was running down the street, right? And I went past this shop and I saw this music box in the window. So I went inside and I told the shopkeeper that I have the most amazing daughter in the whole wide world and that she would absolutely love that music box. That's why I got it for you. That's the day I found out that you were sick. And so I thought it would be best if Daddy drops it off in person. So, what happened to my daughter? How come she's in the hospital? Her fever broke last night, and the doctor said there's no reason why she can't make a phone okay, call. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to understand this. Somebody broke into our house, took our daughter out of her room, and injected I her with something that... I thought she was sleepwalking, okay? And then I found her outside by the swing set. And within 24 hours, she had a raging fever. And the same thing happened to Alexis? Apparently. I mean, someone lured her out to Windermere. She had some kind of a fainting spell, and she woke up on the couch. So someone knocked her out and injected her. That's the theory. And the police have no idea who did this. According to Dante, the PCPD covered every inch of our property, and the only thing they could find was that the front lock had been picked. What about the alarm? It didn't go off? I forgot to set it. Oh, well, that's okay. I mean, how many times did I forget to set that stupid thing? I have to tell you that when I realized that maybe she wasn't missing and that uh, someone might have taken her, I thought it was you. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I wouldn't do that to you again. It makes me sick to think about someone taking our little girl. And why? What's the reason behind it? I mean, why would someone want to hurt Alexis and Jocelyn? What's the connection? Me. I mean, Alexis is my best friend. Jocelyn's my daughter. And... I think that's the connection we share. Do you think someone went after the two of them to draw you back to poor Charles? Well, I mean, it couldn't hurt to look at the people who have grudges against me, right? It's not Sonny. Sonny would not hurt Alexis okay. or Jocelyn, ever. Okay, maybe it was Helena Cassidy. Maybe. I mean, she hates Alexis, and she'd have no problem hurting a child. But when was the last time Helena paid you any attention? Mm -hmm. Unless there's something, I don't know, you know. No, 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 no. I mean, things have been, you know pretty quiet in my life. I ran into a little trouble on the tarmac in Shanghai. The customs and immigration, they were trying to keep me there for 24 hours, but I was able to, you know, call in some favors and they let me go. When did this happen? That was right after you called me to tell me about Jocelyn. Do you think the two incidents are related? I don't know. But I'm not gonna leave town until I find out who did this to Jocelyn, okay? He's going to react to you being back in town. Oh, Carolyn, come after me. 
Well, my main focus is Joss. You know? Somebody targeted her, and I'm not going to leave until I know she's safe. I don't want anything to happen to you. And when I thought that you were gone and in the plane, I, um... You're Jocelyn's father, and she needs you. And she needs both of us. Mm -hmm. Well, Sonny is about to uh, try and marry Kate again. <laughs> You know, my new business partner, thanks to you. Yeah, I had my reasons for selling my shares to Kate. Really? Maybe one day you can enlighten me. What are you talking about? I've been trying to do that for years. Bobby, can we go home now? We can go, but you know, I told you we're going to go to the hotel. Yeah, I heard Mommy promise you room service and pedicures to her favorite That's activities. Right, what good is having a hotel if you don't get to take full advantage of all of the amenities? And the first rate security. You know, system. I have a car downstairs. I would love to drive her home. Hey, how would you like to go really fast mm. with daddy, huh? Yay! No! Yeah, let's go speed demon! <laughs> no, don't say yay. I'm not safe. You want to see daddy do a magic trick? What's this? Open sesame! <gasps> Look at that! <laughs> how would you like to go for a swim, huh? Uh, well... I told her she couldn't go swimming. It's just gonna. No, no, no. The it. pediatrician said it's fine to take her for a swim. You uh, want to join us? Yeah. Why? Why not? Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's been a long time since we've been swimming together. Yeah. yeah.